What's up everybody, this is your boy Christian and I'm back on my camera as it's been broken. But we're going to do a quick review on a couple of things or one particular thing. I'm going to share something with you that you may not know. If you didn't know, I used to be involved in the drag scene a long time ago. Now I didn't do drag, which is how I came across the name Christian Page. My mother, her name is Whitney Page. Look her up. She's on Facebook. Um, she has won everything, everything, and I have been blessed to be a part of a family of entertainers that range in everything. Um, I'm a brother to a lot of drag queens, transsexuals, and entertainers out there in the gay industry. My father is one of the top leading male performers. My uncles are some of the best male performers, my idols, of course. And all of my sisters, aunts, and nieces, um, daughter as well, are all top female performers um, in the industry. Now, that being said, we're, I know you know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, I have uh, four friends um, on the RuPaul Drag Race show that I am so excited to see doing their thing. Mind you, mo most of them or all of them have had their, their big success. Some of them are still babies in the group um, and they're learning. But let's get right down to it. Now, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, RuPaul's Drag Race is aired every Monday night on Logo. Um, and Logo is the gay channel. So tune in, watch it. It's where No Ark used to be for all the gay guys. Um, and for everybody that's into the drag scene, then you all know that um, RuPaul is doing her thing. Now, we welcome RuPaul back into the gay world with open arms. But we all know she's mainly for the white folks. Um, but for those of you that enjoy a little fun, sass, and class, Mystique is on the show. Sonique is on the show. Tyra Sanchez is on the show. And Sahara is on the show. Now, Nicole Paige Brooks is one of my cousins, distant cousins, of course. And she's also on the show. Now, make sure you tune in and check these girls out because, honey, they are serving like no other. Um, the challenge for last night was gone out the window or something kind of toward gone with the wind. Um... And everybody did their thing. Now, if y'all don't know, Mystique is a big girl. And anybody that knows me who knows I love drag, one of my favorite aunts is Chevelle Brooks. And she is a big girl. And, honey, she throws down. Same thing with Mystique. Mystique, you turned it out last night, honey, doing the split. Now, big girls, you know, are known for a lot of energy and a lot of fun and being big and stuff on stage. Giving real girl and everything. And Mystique gives you that. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to pull off the costume as well as I would have liked her to. I know she could have done better, but hey, it was the first challenge, and we still have time to get better. Um, as far as the other girls, everybody did good. Now, I'm not a big fan of Tyra. I'll be honest. Tyra is not one of my favorite people in the world to really hang with, um, and I haven't really hung with her, but big ups to her for doing her thing. She reminded me of my Aunt Jasmine. Jasmine Bonet, that is. Hey, Auntie. Um, if you don't know Jasmine, look her up. She is the official Janet Jackson um, impersonator. No one else does it better than Jasmine. Trust me when I say this. Jasmine Bonet is it. Tyra last night turned up the heat. Um, and she really looked like Jasmine a little bit, giving that Atlanta sass um, and that flair. But we all know she's from Florida. Um, Nicole did well. I enjoyed Nicole's um, outfit and everything. Morgan is the ultimate winner, though. I have to give it to Morgan. This bitch looks real, y'all. It's um, it's uncanny how feminine she looks. Um, and although she lives her life as, life as a boy every day, she gave it her all last night. And I'm telling you, the outfit was sick. Give me a very um, Queen of the Dam look. I was loving it, Morgan. Yes, big ups to you. Big ups to Sonique. Now, if y'all don't know Sonique, Sonique is pretty much famous, honey. Everybody in New York knows who the hell Sonique is. Um, and she turns it out. Raven was good last night, too, as well. Everybody did a good job. I'm sorry to see our girl go, Shalangela, because, um, or Shangela, because she's still new, but she's pretty. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to see the end of Shangela, just like Ruth said, we're not going to see the end of her. You probably won't, because Shangela, she just needs a little more help. Um, and stick in there, girl, because it, it takes time. So just figure out what it is that you're going to do, what's going to make you you, what's going to make you unique, and, honey, you'll have it going on. But I just want to say, out of hands down, out of all outfits that I like last night, out of all the outfits, Tyra Sanchez turned it out, honey. 
Yes, the hair was sick, the makeup was flawless. The outfit was gorgeous, both glamorous, sexy, sophisticated. Just what I expected from her, as always. Tyra is always a lady. I give her that. But Tyra, honey, turn up the attitude. Well, turn off the attitude and turn up the personality. Let everybody know that you're a beautiful girl, both inside and out. Um, and she shared something very special last night. She has a child. Um, his name is Jeremiah. And, you know, he says that he's still... Well, she says she's doing this for him. And I believe that. And I... Really, I'm pretty sure that if she puts on the personality and puts it out there, she'll win. Overall, it was a great show. Of course, there's going to be a lot of cat fights. There's a lot of mess going on. Everybody don't look fierce, honey. Some of them look like a bunch of clowns. I ain't going to lie. Some people are a little weird. Some are a little quirky. But as the week goes on, it'll get better. It'll get better. Now, if you don't know, there's a show called RuPaul Drag Race Untucked. It comes on right after the Drag Race show. It talks about all the stuff behind the scenes. And trust and believe, Mystique was going to whoop somebody's ass. Um, I'm not going to say who. Tune in for the show, y'all. We'll talk about the Untucked part next week. Um, and stay tuned for Fantasia and my review of the BET Awards honors. All right? Much love, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. Thanks for watching the show. Tune in to YouTube as well. Subscribe to the page, The Edge CP. And I'll see more of you later. All right? Much love to everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.